I would like to do a little more with this weight thing, converting pounds into kilograms. Let's start down here, the simple one first. Little bitty kid weighs 12 pounds. How many kilograms is that? Okay, set it up the same weight every time. What I know, 12 pounds, put it over one. What do I do next? You tell me. Thank you. Now multiply by the second fraction, where pounds is up here, pounds will go down here. I'm trying to find kilograms, so kilograms goes there. Well, let's see. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. After canceling out that, y'all caught up now? The math is, since that's on top, that's on the bottom, I merely take 12, I divide that by 2.2, the answer is 5.4545455. Now, at this point, if you round off to tenths, I'm okay with that. So 5.45 would be 5.5. So the kiddo weighs 5.5 kilograms. But now what about something like this? Little kiddo weighs 6 pounds, 8 ounces. How many kilograms is that? Now, I said earlier, in the previous video or one sometime back, I don't know when it was. How many ounces are there in a pound? Why, there's 16. Well, think this out first. Six pounds and eight ounces. Eight ounces would be a half of a pound, right? Eight is half of 16. But just to prove it, do it on your calculator. If you first take the ounces, divide by 16, because there are 16 ounces in a pound. So, go ahead and show yourself on the calculator. You take 8, you divide it by 16, well, it says 0 0.5. Well, that means a half. But now, just leave the 0 0.5 there, then just say plus 6. So, plus 6 now says 6.5. Well, that's not the answer yet, but the kiddo weighs 6.5 pounds. So what we've done so far is we've converted 6 pounds and 8 ounces into a decimal number in pounds. We can say this kid weighs 6 pounds, 8 ounces. That same thing is saying 6.5 pounds. Now we will convert 6.5 pounds, convert pounds into kilograms. Again, 1 kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Scratch this out, scratch this out. So we take the 6.5. And by the way, it's already in the calculator. Just leave it there. Then just take that 6.5 number that still should be in your calculator and say divide it by 2.2. And the answer is 2.95. Oh my goodness. Now, it says 2.95. What if we were told to round, what if you had to round off to tenths? Another one of these weird kind of situations. I'm going to stop it right there. But since the next number that I'm dropping is five or more, I make this the next higher number, which of course would be 10 officially, which means this becomes a zero and that becomes the next higher number itself, which is three. Now, if you were in a math class, chemistry class, they might want you to put that 3.0 not in here. You'd call that just three. Three kilograms is the answer. Now the rounding off thing, that's the least important. The main thing is, can you do all this? We'll do a few more, but get used to the rounding thing too. It's kind of weird. This weird situation won't crop up much, but that's what you do. Even if you were rounding off to tenths, it would end up being a whole number three. Let's do another one. 10 pounds, 4 ounces. Well, we take the ounces. You can maybe do this in your head. 4 ounces is 1 fourth of 16, right? But just to prove it to you, you take the 4, divide by 16. Again, because there are 16 ounces in every pound. 4 divided by 16. Do it with me. This is class participation. Well, you're the class. You individually. But you're participating. This is not just a spectator sport watching me on this video doing this stuff. So you take 4 divided by 16. That equals 0 0.25, which, of course, means one-fourth. But now, 
take that 0 0.25 that's still in the calculator and add 10 to it. Just say plus 10. Well, now it says 10.25. So the kiddo weighs 10.25 pounds. 10 pounds, 4 ounces is the same thing as 10.25 pounds. And now we do the same old thing. Pounds goes down here, kilograms here. And we do what? Cancel. And I'd recommend you still should already have that 10.25 number in your calculator. Just use that number instead of erasing it and punching it back in. Save some finger strokes, okay? Save some time and effort. Just use the number still there and say divided by 2.2. And the answer is 4.659. Well, 4.65 anything. Round off to tenths. I'm stopping it there, but here we go again. Since that's five or more, this becomes the next higher number. So your best answer is... 4.7 kilograms. Let's do one more. 9 pounds, 7 ounces. Do the same thing every time. I've got to convert that to kilograms. But first, I need to convert the 9 pounds, 7 ounces into a decimal number. 9 point something. I don't know what it is. Let's take 7 divided by 16. Well, you take 7 divided by 16, that is 0 0.4375. Now, don't round that off. In fact, a good thing to know all the time, to do every time, or not do every time, don't get a number, round that off, and use that in your next step. Leave this number there, that 0 0.4375. Now, you're doing this, of course, and you got that number, 0 0.4375, leave that there. But that is merely 7 divided by 16. Then just using that number, still there, say plus 9. Now it says 9.4375. Leave that number there. 9.4375. That's pounds. Now please understand what we're doing. That 9.4375 is not the answer to your problem yet. That merely is the 9 pounds, 7 ounces expressed as a decimal number. We now have to go to the next step to convert that number of pounds into kilograms. Well, same old thing. I put pounds down here. I put kilograms here. 2.2 pounds is 1 kilogram. Am I going too fast? Yeah. Cancel out pounds. And again, what am I now doing? I'm taking this number. It's in my calculator, still there. Well, it says 9.4375. And now say divided by 2.2. And your final answer, well, it says 4.28, blah, 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 blah. So if it says down here, 4.28 something or other, I'm going to round off the tenths. That's good enough. But because that next number is five or more, I make the two the next higher number. Final Jeopardy answer is 4.3 kilograms. So the little 9 pound, 7 ounce kiddo here weighs 4.3 kilograms. So there is some homework, I think there is, that covers this, converting this pound and ounce thing into kilograms. Work on that.